What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Kind of Funny Morning Show for Wednesday, July 12th. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the pure one, Tim Geddes. Let Tim host. It's Wednesday, and that means it's a comic episode. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. So excited to get back to comics, talk about comics here on the show. Uh, big update for you, ladies and gentlemen out there watching this live. Right as we were getting ready to go live, Kevin saw an internet blip. So if the, the show goes to crap on Twitch, sorry. But remember, you can always get it on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny and podcast services around yeah. the globe. And also, while that was all going on, usually, like, Kevin always gives me shit that I don't know how to put on my mic, so sure. I've just given up, and I'm just like, all right, Kevin, you have to put on my mic. Right. And then I, I was leaving it dangling there, but I don't even blame him for this, because sure. I, I didn't ask. Usually I ask. Of course. I'll just let it dangle there, and you're like, oh, do you want to host today? I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And then right before we start, I realized my mic's not even on. I, I heard the click, and I was like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, that's how my Tuesday... Wednesday. Wednesday, it's comic day. Oh, it's comic, comic day. day, you're it's right, you're right. Day. It's always Wednesday. How are you, Greg? I'm great, how are you, Tim? I haven't talked to you in a long Happy time. Happy anniversary, dataversary, I don't right, know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. The, Jean-Bierre saint Ange and I went out one year ago today. Yeah. And now we're married. I feel like when you hit a certain age, you just kind of like have to just choose one right. anniversary and right. just run with it. Because yeah. it's like, this is the day we met, this right. is the day we went on our first date, and this is the day I asked you to be my girl. It's like, no, no, no. You know what I mean? No, I hear you. I understand what you're but saying. If, if you like celebrating a lot of things, that's cool too. I think it's just the fact that for a normal relationship, you your anniversary is your first date until you get married, and then that becomes your anniversary. Yeah. But the thing is how we never celebrate had a time to celebrate anything. We never, we never, you know, we never celebrate. It's our oh, like, first anniversary. You are married now. I was, just about to, I, was, I was like, what are you talking about? Your anniversary? Like, I wasn't thinking about it that way. So we have yeah. these two anniversaries already. So it's like, yeah, wait, man. we got we to gotta at least celebrate one once. Okay, you I get what I mean? that. You know what I mean? I'll give you that. Thank you. I mean, I mean, I'll give you everything. Any excuse to just go hang out, it's cool. I just don't like the idea that it's going to be an expected thing. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. We need to throw this whole hullabaloo of No, just, there's no hullabaloo. Oh. The real anniversary is the wedding anniversary. Okay. But this Which is... is May 1st. May 1st. But since we never got to celebrate our first date anniversary, we're having our first date celebration tonight. Got it, got it. I don't know if it'll be a thing. Oh, Kevin, tonight. What, what I need you to do, yeah. That's Kevin. Oh, you're not at your computer. Sorry. You're working. I know you're working. This was, that wasn't a minute. Can you give me the one? Before the show goes any further, Tim, I'm going to need you to oh, get to fix, fix that. that. Yeah. I don't like that at all. Oh, man. You might, if you need to spit on your hand, if you need to spit, you need some water? Tim, I can spit on your hand. I don't want to. There's water. I mean, so I, you, you want know. You want me to spit on your hand? I just it's like not helping part. at all. It is slowly but surely. We have gel. We cool, have Greg. Gel. Bring me a bowl Look, of water in my gel. Just don't do that. But I mean, I do it all the time. Think about how you many don't times do this show that I do all this. The time. I do this a lot in the show. You know what I mean? I do this a lot. I can't have it not being like that. Uh, what's the, what's the news with you? I haven't talked to you. I haven't yeah. seen you. No, it's been a while. I've been in a cave, working on shit. Okay. And okay. Is yeah. it breaking your soul? It is breaking my soul. Okay. Good. That's always but, good. But. I'm very happy with how things are going. Okay. Um, trying to think of what I've been up to. I saw Spider Man again since we last saw. So that's talked. twice? Or just yeah, once? Just twice. Just okay. The, just the twice. Did you enjoy it? I haven't actually gotten oh, yeah. your read on Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I, I liked it even better the second time. Okay. Rewatching it. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. It. Um, All right. I've been catching up on Silicon Valley. Yeah. Uh, I am much cool four show. episodes into this season. The season's been getting a lot of shit. Uh huh. Now, I, I've pretty much completely given up on the show being good a long time ago because around the beginning of season three, mm -hmm. I realized that we were just like doing the same thing. It was too, over too, and over. it was too real. And yeah, and it was, too, it was just kind of like, all right, like they just keep failing. And I guess that's what TV shows are, especially once you, you need, you seasons. need to, you need to have a mountain to climb, as the kids say. Exactly. But it's just like, it's kind of like, it feels like they're, they're copying and pasting um, plot points a right. lot and character yeah. development a lot. And it's at a point now where he's just uh, completely unlikable, the main character. Yeah. Where it's like, I'm not well, really. Well, which one's him. the main character? TJ Miller or? No, 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 no. The other guy. The, the other dude. The, um, oh I'm blanking on his name right now, but. Uh, the skinny dude that's in the Verizon commercials. Gotcha. He's the yeah. main character? Yeah, absolutely. I've well, I watched season one. It's fucking back. I did water yeah, and gel. It, All right, it. now it's down. Yeah, but anyway, uh, he's just totally unlikable. And it's I'm not rooting for him. I'm not rooting for his struggle. I'm not rooting for anything. Yeah. Like, all, and all the things I do root for, they take away from me within one episode. And it's yeah. like, I don't know. But I will say, it's still funny as fuck. Okay. It's still super well written in terms of jokes and in terms of the the scenarios that they're in and all that stuff. I'm, I'm so I'm enjoying it. I thought I was gonna totally hate it because I was already a little down on yeah. it. Yeah, totally wrong. Looking forward to watching more. 
Okay. It's a good show. Okay. It's a, should it's I come a, back to it? I, I think you should. Like that's the thing is like it, it's the quality of the show hasn't dropped. It's just the the story's getting a little trite. But the quality of, of the characters and the jokes are all still there. All so. right. Kevin, while that happened, what happened here? We got 17 oh, boxes. Again. Ubisoft's Stone Chin has sent us donuts. Because yeah, when we were coming back from Austin. God damn. I you didn't just send us donuts. There's you sent message. us the fucking oh, donut a message store. Here? Tim, read me the donut message, please. I was stunned that Greg and jean Viev have not tried Bob's Donuts. On the flight home, seeing the kind of funny crew, I became concerned that others have been deprived of Bob's Donuts goodness as well. Consider this delivery our efforts together to repair the time-space continuum. Stone plus Ubisoft PR team. I made the PR specialist write this. <laughs> <laughs> he has donut do. people. I like that. So this is what happened. We were coming back from Austin Holy and we saw shit. the voodoo donuts. The These voodoo are donuts, donuts, man. Get, get if them you don't, Give me if you don't follow Stone Shin on Instagram or Twitter, Stone is a donut expert. And we were like, oh, well, did you get to voodoo donuts a lot while you're here, Stone? And Stone's like, I don't like them. I don't like the voodoo donuts. They're too. They're trying too hard. Oh my and I was God. like, oh, and we talked about donuts for a little bit. And I was like, well, what's the best donut in San Francisco? And he said, Bob's. And I said, oh, and he's like, you've had Bob's, right, Greg? I'm like, no, and he was all aghast of it. So now he sent these, he sent donuts. Wow, no, Whoa, Kevin. whoa, Kevin. <laughs> come back, Kevin. No, I know. Danny O'Dwyer can wait. He'll come in and eat a donut, too, I'm sure. Maybe. Sweet Jesus, this is one donut. Wait, are these all, these are all big donuts. Those are oh, my Bob's God. Is Bob's is famous for hold giant on, fucking donuts. On. Compare that donut to this donut. Banana for scale. It's not even fair. Okay. Andy, how's that donut? Hold on one second. Pretty great. Oh, my are God. Are you a donut fan? Yeah. Okay. I don't take offense to it. I'll just ask. Just, I'm a know. donut fan for sure. Okay. Man, Greg, cof coffee, comics, and donuts. You kidding paper me? Paper towels. You kidding me? Yeah, we're gonna need some paper towels. I'm definitely getting donuts. Danny, Danny, come on in here. Donuts. D I've a never lot had, of donuts. Have you ever had Bob's donuts? No. Me neither. So, uh, so Stone from Ubisoft sent over a whole Holy bunch of donuts for us to try. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah. Who's going for the big one? I'm trying to. I want to buy the big one. Sprinkle the little ones. You want the big sprinkle, man? I want to take a bite of them. You crazy. Well, hey, you know what? Come on now. I'm a big man. I need a big sprinkle. I think that's, we all know how this works. Kevin's giving me a thumbs up. That's all right. Get in there, Danny. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you. Glazed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going for one Thank of you, Stone. Glazed. Thank you for Ubisoft. Thank you, Stone. Thank you, Stone. Thank you, Stone. Good shit. <laughs> Thanks, Stone. Kevin, give me my one. Dude, I'm so excited. Mm. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. That is just nasty. It's a big commitment. It is. Well, I'm not going to eat the whole thing. Eat the whole thing. Yeah, you are. All right. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh, man. It's good. You know what? Mm. Shout out to Bob. See, I want to. What? I... I'm taking one of these. Oh, God. We only got one? Well, you do. I I don't know. He was handing Cool Greg me. only brought one. <laughs> I mean, I had a. I had. I'll bring another. Yeah, we need more. We're going to need plates, probably, too. There's, there's a sticky That's stuff. Doing. Sticky stuff over here. Uh, in the chat, Tardis Blue says Jackman off sabotage by Stone. Yeah. Nick, well, even if Nick yeah. was here, he, he wouldn't would never this partake thing. in this. Nick has been getting ripped, though. That motherfucker needs to stop. I going see to him gym. rolling around a lot. It's bothering me. Rolling around. You know what he's doing? Him and Sean Pitts are rolling around tonight. Mm hmm. See, I want, a, I want a normal one. Not because I didn't like the big one, just because I feel like I need to balance it out. I wouldn't judge Dude, it. I'm telling you, if you're a glazed fan, these are good glazed donuts. I'm, I mean, I'm not that big of a glazed fan. Really? I like sprinkles. I like some chocolate on really? there. Really? Yeah. Mm, you never rub me as a sprinkle man. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like sprinkles are totally inside of like... I love that this is this is our life. Yeah, we just do a live show. Oh, shit. An insane amount of donuts show up. Let's stop what we're doing. <laughs> hey, it's That's Kind me. of Funny Morning Show, guys. Right, Each and every weekday it. here on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames. We come to you with the stuff we want to talk about. Sometimes it's donuts, sometimes it's coffee, sometimes it's comics. It's comics every Wednesday. This is the comic show. Um, if you like that, please follow us on Twitch. Or subscribe to us on Twitch. Remember, if you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime. That's a free sub. You can give us, take the money back from Amazon, because if you don't use it every month, every month you have to give it away. They sit there in their fat cat Amazon building laughing at your face. And they look at your mother, too. Don't ask me how they do it. They do it, though. That's weird. Similar to how I was in Columbia, Missouri. I bought a, a thank you card for the people who are housing me, right, from Walgreens. Mm. Get home. What, you don't like that donut? I'm not a chocolate sprinkle Put guy. it back over here. I'll get to it eventually. I appreciate you. I, 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 go, Columbia, Missouri, I buy a thank you card. Why did he say I so many times? Because I'm getting, I'm picking back up my speed. Mm -hmm. Come home yesterday, open up the mailbox, pull out a card. Well, Jen looked at it and thought it was real because she's Canadian. She doesn't understand oh, the trickery yeah. of American mm. things because it looks like the handwriting outside. I'm like, no, no. Open it up. Weirdest thing I've ever seen. 
open it up. It is a thank you card from Hallmark for me buying a Hallmark card. And I'm like, how, ugh. It's like creepy more than anything. No, no. You bought it online? I bought it from Walgreens and I put in my Walgreens like club card thing or whatever. I, I don't that like, that. like that. I don't know. No. I don't know. But oh, they got shit. me. You think the That's like the internet I got, got. in real life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Then like knowing your shit. I, I don't like that at all. You don't want Although, to I had a fucking scary moment, Greg. Mm -hmm. Where I pulled my phone up and I accidentally swiped it one of the ways I never do, so it gets to that one page that no one ever actually looks mm. at the control oh, panel or whatever the fuck. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know what the hell. It happens, and it says your car is parked here, and it's like some map app, and I'm like, <laughs> how the fuck do they know that? Yeah, yeah. And I don't like that at all. It just tracks where it sees me moving really quickly <laughs> throughout the day, hmm. Hmm. and it knows where I leave. And it wasn't totally accurate, but it was close enough that I'm like, oh, I need to look into that just because I don't yeah, like man, it. Man, you got to give in to Or just thing. double down. That's the thing. I just want to I just want to know, Kevin. Yeah. Like, I, <laughs> I, I appreciate that that exists, but, like, I don't appreciate not knowing about it. You know I what I mean? I understand. Yeah. Uh, well, somebody, I'll need, I thought it would have happened naturally. It didn't. <clears throat> I need screen caps of me with the giant donut. So, Kevin, go back to me with the one because we got to say thank you to Stone. Stone's a fucking good dude. I'm gonna do like this. God damn. There it is. Hold on, let me make sure the focus is perfect for me. He's making sure the focus is perfect. So screen cap that. One more. There it is. Oh, Stone's watching. Oh, he is perfect. Stone okay. is watching. Well, still screen cap. I wanna put it out there. We got donuts. Um, remember, of course, if you don't watch us live on Twitch, you can catch the show on youtube.com slash kinda funny or podcast services around the globe. If you are watching on Twitch, please. Subscribe to us on Kind of Funny's YouTube. Subscribe on iTunes to help this show get out there. We want to make sure as many people get to see whatever the fuck this is as possible. And What's if wrong? If you're in San Francisco, go to Bob's Donuts. Go, go to Bob's, Bob's donuts. donuts. That is the thing. It's like, yeah. I'm standing chocolate... by these glazed donuts. Hard. I don't know how you like these sprinkled chocolate. Or glazed. Right, you guys, it's all about the crumb. Holy shit. It makes a mess. Really it makes a mess. Yeah, the whole thing's a mess. Yeah. Games Daily is going to be late today because we're going to have to wax this entire table down. <laughs> oh, man. So now, it's the comic episode. Mm -hmm. We've been gone two weeks, sadly. Yes. We're going to talk about Paper Girls. Mm -hmm. That was your reading, assigned reading. But you actually have some news for this show that you pulled together. Not much. Okay. While you, but we do. While you swallow your food mm -hmm. and do whatever. Oh, there's paper dolls in there. I want to remind everybody, there's a new party mode up on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games. Go there. Check it out. It's the one where you lie to each other. Faking it. Honestly. I think it's our best one that we've recorded so far. Party mode? At least it's the funniest one we've recorded. Nick Scarpino royally fucks up. And that's the problem. I make the headlines for these yeah, yeah, party yeah. modes, right? Yeah. I'm trying to make them a little bit different than our normal Let's Play headlines. Sure. So I'm trying to make it more personality-based about what we're doing. The problem with that is every episode is going to be called, Nick's a fucking idiot. Nick does something stupid. Nick says, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I, I had to stop. But anyways, it's great. You should watch it. And a lot of people are, are I don't want to say complaining. They're being like, oh, you should show us what you see on your phone. That would ruin the, the point of what you're seeing. All you see is whatever the prompt is going to be, and then... Yeah, that's it. Which yeah. not, without getting anything else. All right. Uh -huh. Oh, man. I'm just like... I wasn't expecting this this morning. Yeah. You know, these donuts. This really made my life. All right, the news. We got our first look at the Wasp. Ooh. In Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, this is from D23, yep. coming up yep. this weekend. Get hyped. Kingdom Hearts 3 is happening. Is there going to be Kingdom Hearts 3 there? Is that confirmed? Yep, confirmed. We'll get okay. a new trailer with the new world. Okay. We're assuming it's Toy Story. Oh. And that excites us. Why do you that assume it's Toy Story? Thing? I just, you know what I mean? Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, that's right. Yes, you know what I mean? No, it's either, it's either that or Frozen. Now everything's sticky, though. I don't, I don't not like You know that. what? This is the life you chose. It is. It is. Um, Hope Van Dyke actor Evangeline Lilly has shared the first image of the Wasp from next year's Ant-Man and the Wasp. The image posted on Twitter by Lilly is the focal point of a D23 Expo banner and for the first time shows the character in costume as the Wasp. We saw the costume in, mm -hmm. in the end of Ant-Man. Yeah, at the very end there. Yeah. But here we go. Here's a, here's a picture. What do you think? Cool. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. ready for more, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, I'm like, I trust you guys. Ant-Man was, was a lot of fun. I like her. I like as an actress. I like her character. The Wasp is fine, interesting, whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. I mean, fine, you know, interesting. It's, I mean, it, I, I'm not. I don't have a, like a any any kind of emotional connection with the six one six Wasp. 
Like, Ultimate Wasp is very different than this. Okay. okay. And that's the one that I, I know. But anyway, cool. July 6, 2018. With the same director, Peyton Reed, back at the helm. What do you expect from it? Because I think Ant-Man, right, everybody was so hyped on Ant-Man being the Edgar Wright one. Mm -hmm. Then it didn't happen. You can still see touches of him people felt in the movie. Do you think that now that he's not involved with this at all and it's going to be the same team start to finish and we know the character and all this and everything, you think it'll be way better? Uh, I, I don't. I, really? I, no, I mean... I don't know. That that's a tough question because I don't want to oh, yeah, take away. I only ask the tough questions. I don't want to take away <laughs> from what Peyton did. Yeah. Um, because I do think that Ant Man, especially given, oh my God, you're crazy. Especially given the the difficulties that 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 movie had, mm -hmm. did a great job, and it did come together. However, it did feel disjointed, and my favorite parts were the Edgar Wright parts. So that's my problem with it. Okay. It's just like I would much rather this be an Edgar Wright movie, but um, hey. Baby Driver in theaters now. Here's my support thing. that, so maybe I think more will happen. Ant-Man and the Wasp, I think, is going to be... I think it has, right now, on paper, stick with me, the potential to be one of my favorite Marvel movies. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? What? No, I don't I, believe you. I love Paul Rudd, one of my favorite movies. I loved his take on Ant-Man. It was just the problem of, it's an origin story, we're doing this, it is disjointed, blah, blah, blah. Again... Fucking Captain America, Civil War, he's fucking phenomenal there. If it wasn't for Spidey, he would have stolen the show. Yeah. So I there just you feel go. Like, I don't know. I'm at the part, the place where I, I just like him in cameo appearances. Not cameos even, but just smaller parts. I don't need a whole movie based on him. But hey, we'll see. I'm him getting buddying it. around with Ange Angelina Billy. Yeah. Michael Douglas is Angelina still Angelina Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating a donut. You already did donut. Anyway, I'm excited. Again, they haven't fucked us yet. Exactly. Like hard. Uh, I mean, the, the Iron Man 2 and the Thor 2 and a lot of the 2s, just saying, just saying, smart on them to take the 2 Iron out Man of the 2, name. yes, was a bad movie. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it was, you know, like, all right, whatever. I mean, it was as good as a, wait. Just the ending wasn't super solid. Someone posted on thing. Twitter yesterday uh, Iron Man 3 chronological it. timeline. Oh, yeah, and how it's all fucked up because of Homecoming or whatever. No, I don't know. I don't oh, know there's that. a whole, you can get into the weeds on this where they say dates and homecoming in eight years ago, but that contradicts what yeah. other people have said. And, where, and it's like, who the fuck cares? Just enjoy it. Oh, interesting? Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. I don't know why I said it. Oh, interesting? <laughs> interesting? Yeah. No, I was looking at Kevin. Um, but I looked at the time, I'm like, oh, it's, it's kind of cool to try to think about how this all matches up. But some of it didn't add up to me because the Incredible Hulk is in Iron Man, right? Like, in Iron Man 1, there's like a... Yeah, well, not Hulk, see, but the, the Easter egg thing. There's like a TV playing, like, destruction or whatever, and you see the Hulk fucking things up because that's what's happening at Elsewhere. the same time in the Hulk movie. Okay. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Well, at the end, you know, whatever, Betty's dad, General Ross, comes through, and that's when he talks to... Yeah. To, or no, well, actually, actually, other way the, around. Other way around, sorry. Iron Man walks in. If I remember, you actually see the Hulk in Iron Man 1. It's just on, a, like, a newscast. Okay. Anyways. I'm looking at the chat. Chat always yeah. corrects us when we fuck it up. And then staying in Marvel news, unfortunately not in the movie world, but in, in the TV world that is just ever expanding and so exciting, I guess, to some people. <laughs> uh, Milana Van Trubb lands Squirrel Girl role in Marvel's New Warriors. Milana, if you didn't know, the AT&T girl. Or if you're more keen-eyed, she's the girl that's in every single sitcom ever as the girlfriend character that's only in one episode. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Silicon Valley. Gotcha. She okay. was, she's in, also in This Is Us. Um, I first fell in love with her back YouTube on stuff, YouTube. Right? Yes, when she was funny as hell. Still is funny. Still is funny. Still Real is quick, very too, funny. The chat is saying Iron Man 2 is what you're talking about, where there's footage of Hulk in there. Oh, really? Well, yeah. that doesn't add up in my head, but I'm probably wrong. You are wrong, I guarantee uh, But anyway, so is Marvel's New Warriors, Freeform Disney's young adult television and streaming network confirmed Monday that Van Trubb has been cast in Marvel's first live action script comedy. She plays a totally empowered fangirl who has the incredible powers of a squirrel. According to Freeform release, her greatest quality is her optimism and her best friend is a pet squirrel, Tippy Toe. Derek Theller has been cast in the role of Mr. Immortal in the series slated to debut in 2018 on Freeform. Marvel's New Warriors features six young people learning to cope with their abilities in a world where bad guys can be as terrifying as bad dates. Oh! Cool. Great, whatever. So, Squirrel Girl, fucking love the character. Yeah. 
in small doses. It goes back to my Ant-Man thing, where it's just like, I don't... Anytime I've started reading a Squirrel Girl on... Even right now, Unbeatable Squirrel Girl? Uh, it's, that's what's, uh, okay. Uh, it's, yeah, uh, it's just fine. It's just like, I don't need this much. It seems uh, like too much. We, Great Lakes Avengers. Uh -huh. One of the first comic collections I ever read. Mm -hmm. And God damn, it's good. It, yeah. it, it sounds like it's just this, because Mr. Immortal... Uh, yeah, there you go, Kev. There you go. We're getting some of them there. Um, it's it's fantastic. It's it does com like comedy in superhero world, right? Yeah. And it's just kind of the idea of like, all right, cool. We have the West Coast Avengers. We have just the Avengers. Then what's going on in like the, the middle of America? Like who's yeah. going to protect that? The That's Great Lakes guys? Avengers. Is it worth me picking up? Yes, that sounds absolutely. Really good. It's, yeah. The thing it's about it is like, it's really good. I've talked about this before. I you know am a DC fanboy. We all know that. Born and raised with DC in my blood. I'm doing my best here to read Marvel now and get into Marvel mm -hmm. and do different things. We're, I, I, we're, you know, we're, this is the comic book episodes. I can talk about it, I guess, wherever I want to. Being a Tom Taylor cultist. Tom Taylor can do no wrong. I'll read every one of his books. I am, of course, in love with All New Wolverine. Uh -huh. And when Squirrel Girl popped up in that, that's what I think I talked about last time we did one of these, where it was like, that helped me really start defining what the Marvel Universe is and why maybe mm. it didn't work for me before in, the, yeah. in comparison to DC. And the fact that she can just pop up and be in a serious book but be funny yeah. and talk to squirrels and have these great... And I was like, fuck, I really like this character. And that's when I saw Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, Squirrel Girl and I, ongoing, and I started thinking, I'm going to start picking those up here and get into that and stuff. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't have something to say in terms of it could be... For me, it sounds, for me, like she's your Harley Quinn. Where for yeah. me, where it's like Harley Quinn has her own ongoing series. I was like, cool. And then I read it. I'm like, oh, this is like exactly. You're kind of you're kind of like Deadpool, but you're kind of not. You I know? mean, Deadpool is another example for me. Like, yeah. well, the Deadpool Cable, that's that's different. But Deadpool's ongoings, it just seems like there's no consequences. So it's just yeah, a lot of jokes, and it sure. just seems empty yeah. at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, Squirrel Girl, one of the few people in the Marvel universe to uh, beat Doctor Doom. Squirrel Girl. Yeah. So she's got something going on. She does got something she going on. She ain't just some throwaway joke character. Nope, nope, nope. She's fantastic. So this is, and I think Milano's gonna nail it. Okay. Will the show be good? Probably not. That's calling it now. That sucks. It sounds like an interesting premise. Yep. It sounds a lot like, do you remember, and on chat, I'm gonna need your help with this one. What was the one, they did a, a book for DC that was something like Young Heroes in Love or whatever, and it was all these like heroes they put into a tower that wanted to fuck each other. What was that fucking called? We'll get back to it. Go ahead. You can keep going with the stories. They'll tell me here. Or I'll look it up too. This isn't so much a story as much as I just fucking love Japan so much. Who doesn't? So, movies in Japan obviously have different names, cater to different audiences. We've seen this with Fast and Furious. It's always very funny to see what they name it there. Thor Ragnarok in Japan. Obviously, Ragnarok doesn't have a Japanese equivalent. Sure. So, it is called Mighty Thor Battle Royale. I like it. I'm fucking down. Especially after the success poster. of PlayStation and All-Stars Battle Royale. This is going to help them. And guys, I nailed it. Right out the blocks, Young Heroes in Love. I want to point that out there. Young Heroes in Love. Ran for 18 issues. Superman popped in at one point and they weren't having it. And then before we get into the, the actual comic to knock boots discussion. Up. They wanted to knock boots. The final story of the day. This is just something that blew my mind this morning. See You Again, as yeah. featured in Furious 7. Uh huh. By Charlie Puth and Wiz Khalifa becomes the all time most viewed YouTube video. Beating Gangnam Style. That doesn't make any sense. Who would have... Uh, it does make sense. It's a great song, and it was a touching tribute. And it's Fast and Furious. And it's Fast and Furious. But guys, let's be real. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. No. Gangnam Style, I never thought it would get taken down. Never. But this, this is proof here that the mighty can fall at any moment. And what's even more interesting to me is that song Despacito. You might... I've slowly heard it in Spanish. On the radio recently. Oh, it's, it's like, all over the place. Uh, it's got a beat like that, like. Yeah, no, it's not that. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, that song it came out in January. Okay. And it is already about to eclipse both of them. It's number three right now. Here's so my we're thing. just in a world you, now you where talk... people are consuming music via YouTube so quickly that now a song that came out months ago yeah. is about to be the most viewed YouTube video of all time. And here's my problem with what you just said, is that you're holding on very, you said how the mighty can fall. Mm -hmm. That's not how we should look at this. It's the passing of a torch. I don't like these whole, 
And I, I don't think it means be changing. It's, it's like professional wrestling. Yeah. It, I like it when the belt moves around. I don't like these title reigns that go on for five years, like back in the old fucking days. I don't need them changing hands every week. Am I right, Cool Greg? Am I right? Yeah, right. But I want to make sure the belt's moving around there. This no, stuff no, no. happen. I'm with you. Okay. But this is different. Gangnam Style was a phenomenon. A sure. Phenomenon. And I, sure. I feel like it re re should require a phenomenon to take it down. But that's the thing. It uh, Wiz Khalifa's song here, way slower. Take the More people are on YouTube, you know what I mean? So maybe that's Yeah, the... I mean, th there's a lot here. What, what's crazy, though, is this out, new song. That video came out a while ago, right? April 6th. 2015. 2015. <laughs> yeah, it's April yeah. 6th is relevant <laughs> in I that conversation. That yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's been years. Interesting stuff. Let's get into the comics. Finally! Do I, we, well, I mean, we can do it however we want to, right? Do, we give, do you want to do the giveaway let's now? Do, yeah, let's do the okay, giveaway okay. now. Uh, what, so how do you... Well, if you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the guy. I haven't done this show in so long. Yeah. And granted, it's because I there, we, we took the week off. Oh, yeah. I left a bit early before that week. But then it's also just been the fact that I'm moving around so much doing games daily that I'm doing this show less. So I'm totally rusty on everything with Nick yesterday. I was mm. rusty. I don't think I was that funny. I don't think I kicked my legs enough. I doubt that. Did I kick my legs enough yet? Let, yesterday, Kev? Yeah, you did great. Okay, did you good. kick your legs? I don't know what it means. Remember how? No, you remember. Remember how tall I am? And how oh, your limberness? Is that what we're talking about? Oh, stop. Yeah, okay. Please, God, you're so close to the phone. Look how, Swah. look at this shot right now. Look how many donuts are in it. Thanks. Thank oh, you, man, yourself. I'm stinky already. I'm sweaty. All the donuts, you know? You're sweating them out? All right, the giveaway, four ways to win one. If yeah. you didn't know, you're watching the Kind of Funny Morning Show each and every weekday here on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames. We come to you with the nerdy news we want to talk about. But then, in between that, we jump into the chat to answer your questions, comments, concerns. We give away stuff. We do all sorts of crazy things. But... Now it's time to give away a game, because we give away a video game each and every day here. How do you win it? It's simple. There's four ways, and it's actually kind of complicated. Number one, be in the chat like so many of you are right now on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames. Number two, maybe this benefits you if you aren't here. Maybe you're watching later on youtube.com slash kindoffunny or podcast services around the globe. You can subscribe to us on Twitch. You give us the money, that automatically enters you to win each and every prize here. Along with that, you get the Kind of Funny logo next to your name. Cool emotes, private chat time with us. You get to play multiplayer games with me, like Friday the 13th. Because I love killing you fuckers. And it just it's a good feeling, isn't it, to contribute to somebody, to people like us. I can feel my hair dancing around back there. It's doing it again. Um, oh, remember, if you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime. That means that you have a free subscription giveaway each and every month. If you don't give it away each and every month, Amazon laughs at you and keeps the money. Don't let them do that. Give it to us. It'd be nice. Or you can go support us on Patreon.com slash KindOfFunny or Patreon.com slash KindOfFunnyGames over there. A donation of $2 or subscription of $2 gets you entered to win each and every giveaway. You never have to be here. Everybody has fun times. Tim, what are we giving away today? Today, we are giving away Rhyme. Oh, okay. On the PC. Ugh. On the PC. Today's giveaway is sponsored by MeUndies. Greg, MeUndies. let me know what you have to say about MeUndies. Be careful. I don't, I'm not sure how the legalities of this work on I love MeUndies. Everyone knows this. Donuts. Kevin, can you see it? No, there's donuts blocking my yeah, ass. Thank God. Oh, they're, oh, they're black too. So just now, uh -huh. feel how soft that is. They are, they're very soft. Oh my <laughs> God, no, no, that was too real. It was too real. So Greg, you are a huge Meundies fan. No, you have I, been for a very I like, long time. You, you know, if you are watching this, you're kind of funny best friend. You know, we shoot straight. We don't bullshit around. Yesterday, I did this same thing. I'll tell you the same thing right now. I've been buying me undies for a long time. They are amazing underwear. They are super soft. I like them more than the fancy underwear I was buying at department stores. Yeah. That's not a lie. That's not a line. That's a real thing of like, I bought my first box, got them like, oh, I like their ads, of course. Great ads. They got a sexy Instagram if you want mm, to go follow It's true. Shit. It's very true. Dude, dudes just, dudes everywhere. It's great. Uh, but I bought the box and I was like, oh my God, these are great. And now it's that thing where literally... I, what it was is I was when I got to the other ones I had, I'd be like, oh, so I had to go buy more of yeah. these. And now if I like really am coasting on laundry and I get to those, I'm like, I gotta buy no, another box to get one of those. Yeah, yeah. No, these are great. great. Love the colors. There's so many different variations you can get, which I'm a big fan of because you know I like to stay fitted head to toe. Yeah, I like to make sure that if I'm wearing a purple shirt, that my yeah. shoes. <laughs> I have purple on them too. Let's just guess tear what? the walls down. I no, want my underwear to be purple as well. And guess what? MeUndies allows me to do yeah. that. That's fantastic. Because MeUndies comes in all kinds of colors and patterns, they release new limited edition patterns each month. They always sell out. So if you want the specific ones, you got you to gotta get on that now. Right now, you'll save 20% off your first pair and receive free shipping only at MeUndies.com slash morning. If you don't like your first pair, they're free. You can just keep them. But that's not going to happen. 
because you're going to like them. Yeah. I guarantee it. Get 20% off your first pair plus free shipping at MeUndies.com slash morning. We're done now? Uh, we're done with that, yeah. Game Points in the chat says, this show has become the scene in Wayne's world where they say they aren't sellouts, then commence to shill for Pepsi, blah, blah, blah. Then he follows up. This is now that, but for 45 minutes straight. First off, we've only been on the air for 30 minutes. Secondly, that's the first ad we've done. So, all right? Yeah. Imagine you're right here. You're sitting right there, Game Points. Oh, you know? God! Yeah. God forbid I'd like to pay the people who work to make this content happen for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm-hmm. And then you're, you're uh, now you're, he's there and he's like this. Stop, oh, you're gonna, take gonna break it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we should eat donuts every day. Oh my <laughs> Do you God. understand the what sugar high. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it inside me. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is what it must be to have like cosmic abilities. No. You can just feel it. I oh know. my God. Why does anyone work out? Look at how yacked I am just from the sugar. <laughs> Look at it! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god. Also, someone asked a real question if I... Oh, no, it's gone now. Oh, there it is. Lone Wolf 1186. Greg, do you have inner thigh issues with me on these? No, I don't. Inner thigh I have, issues? I have fat. I'm fat. Uh-huh. So my thighs are fat. So they rub together. E. That's but the these undies don't, they don't fray or anything. They're oh, yeah. Oh, I get what you're saying. The chafing of yeah, that. Yeah. That's an issue. That's an issue. Um, I forgot what that last guy's name is, but this one's for him. Game point? Mm. This episode's also... Brought to you by Verve. Check it out. Verve is brought to you by the team over at Crunchyroll. It's the service you can watch it on any of the things you have, whether it's PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One or your, your mobile device or a desktop sure, or any of that. Sure. It allows you to watch all your favorite content. You can watch Funimation stuff. You can watch Crunchyroll stuff. You can watch Rooster Teeth stuff if you want, which we're in a lot of that stuff, so that's cool. Um, you can watch Attack on Titan. Like next week, Nick and I are going to be finishing out the season of Attack on Titan Season 2. Very excited for that. Season 3 coming soon, Kev. Get you hear about this? Oh, yeah, because yeah. we made it shorter. Yeah, Hell yeah, yeah. Next, year, next year. So that's very exciting. Um, you can watch shows dubbed. You can watch shows subbed. It's fantastic. Everyone's telling us at RTX, everyone was like, Tim, you got to watch My Hero Academia. And I don't know if it's Academia. Academia? Academia? I don't, I don't know. Nobody but everyone's telling me oh, that I need, I need to get on that. I'm glad um, you're listening so intently to what they're saying. He's I'm, I'm listening with it. The, yeah, it's like... It's, it's a, a joke, everybody. It's, it's like when everyone didn't know how to say Hermione right. You get a free seven-day trial of the Verve Combo Pack by going to verve.co slash kindoffunny. That's V-R-V dot C-O slash kindoffunny. Check it out. All the stuff in HD. It's going to be a good time. Let me tell you what, Greg. Attack, yeah. on, Se- Attack on Titan Season 2 so uh-huh. far for us? It's over. People... I've already loved it, but we're only three episodes in. Big fan. You're in? Okay. Big fan. Very fucking crazy shit's happening. All right, I'll never. So now it's giveaway time. There's like a Sasquatch. Greg, it's like a Sasquatch. Give away the game. I want to talk about comics. This giveaway winner is from patreon.com slash kind of funny games. Bob Hillman. Bob! Bob, 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 you won Rhyme on the PC. Did someone send him Rhyme already? No. No, no. If you could do that, that'd be fun. Yep. Thanks, Kev. No worries, kiddo. You ever eat a bunch of sugar and then, like, punch and stuff and then start sweating? No. Because it's happened to me right now. That's how I live my life. You, you're my little glazed donut. Thank you. I like Aww. that a lot. Now it's time for P.S. I Love This Best Friend, XOXO. You can nominate a best friend that's doing something cool in the community by going to kindoffunny.com slash best friend, just like Kenny Kepnick did. Kenny Kepnick! He nominated my dude, Dieter Nah, this is from Pollard. yesterday. You didn't pull a new one. What? Did you, you did this one? yesterday? Yeah. God damn it. I pulled this one the day before, but then you came well, in Don't you understand with the how shows thing. work? Yeah, like that's how Didn't shows work. I mean, I, like, why I, would we why wouldn't we use that one the next day, you know? Cuz I unreaded it out on the other thing. Why didn't what mm. I mean like it was just there, you know what I mean? Like, it was just there. I wanted to give this shout out cuz I like Dieter. Fine, do it again and then I'll pick a new one that I'll give away. Anyway, Dieter kicks ass in the Facebook no, group. No, do everybody. no, read everyone the thing again. It. Not everybody Most watches for letting show. us know that these posts are getting out of hand in the Facebook group, but beyond that Dieter is a great communicator in Facebook groups and one of the best personalities I've met since this community took off. In a world where most people come across as dicks on the internet, Dieter's always welcoming and thoughtful. I entirely agree. Always love his input on stuff. And he he is a very strong force in the community when it comes to trying to bring things together, being real, while also being critical. And I appreciate that. Okay. Now give us our other one, Greg. The one I'm going to give away today? Oh, here we go. I like this one a lot. This one was submitted by a young lass named Joey Noel. Joey Noel has nominated this best friend, Mr. Penguin Von Penguin. Her reasoning? Penguin was super great last week in helping coordinate Mario Kart with Big Kev, Dog, and Cool Greg while we were in Austin for RTX. Heart emoji. So there you go. 
And now I will read it out so Tim doesn't yell at me. I'm going to be 100% honest. Did not thank him anywhere near as much. He made it possible for Thursday to happen. It happens. You get carried so, away. Mr. Penguin, Von Penguin understands. I'm so sorry, Penguin. Don't don't be like that, Kevin. It's okay. He's understanding. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Doodle doop. Now nah, we can talk about comics. Yes, we can. I mean, we talked about comics in the beginning, but we didn't talk about like what we've been reading and all mm. that jazz and then Paper Girls and all that stuff. So we're going to go long on this episode, I already can tell you. Okay. We got here late. Yeah. Too much wasp news. You know what I mean? Yeah. Also, there were a lot of donuts. Yeah. It was the donuts. I'm going to get think. Greg to strike them. Strike them? Okay, to start prepping for the next show? Greg. All right, so here's Greg. where I want to start. More importantly, can you get me a decaf coffee? Where Thank I want to start is this, Tim. Yes. I want to I get, I tell get, you oh. that you were right. Tim it's was right. Very rare. About Spider-Man. I, you know, again, I'm trying to get more Marvel in me. You know uh -huh. what I mean? I'm trying yeah. to let all the Marvel into all my orifices. Yeah, so I'm yeah. just turning around yeah. and going, what do you want? Marvel, take it. <laughs> and if you were saying that amazing Spider-Man now had gone off the rails. He's Tony Stark. He's this, he's that, and another. And I said, well, what about this spectacular Spider-Man book that, uh, Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man, number yeah. one that came out last time we did the show. And you're like, I don't know. It's going to, it's dialing him back to be more nor normal Spidey, blah, blah, blah. I jumped in. I read Peter Parker. Loved it. Great book. Loved his in, the playing around with Johnny Storm. They're friends. They're still broing mm -hmm. it out. You know Bros. what I mean? They then he went. He, he, there's this great gag in there. I'm gonna spoil it for you. You should buy this book, where they make a, a date to like watch a movie or whatever at the house. Did you read it? No. Oh, that's great. And uh, but then Peter, of course, gets caught up in the, all the shenanigans and he goes off on the this mission, of this thing, the web of life. And uh, he's like out of state even. And he, and he gets hit on by this girl and, he, and she asks him out at a date. And he's like, all right, yeah, sure, I do. Never, never forget a date. And then they just cut to one panel of Johnny Storm sitting outside of his apartment, like Aww. looking at his watch. It was fucking brilliant. That's good. And I was like, great. This is what this is what I want. This is Spidey. Let's see what this amazing Spider-Man's all about. And I had a whole mm. bunch of those downloaded. I jump over there. I'm like, holy shit, does this suck? Yeah. Spider-Man's leading a shield team into like Dude. missions and crap. I'm like, no. No, 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 no. No, no one wants it. And Nobody that's the that. problem is it's just like I really don't feel like anyone actually wants that. Yeah. No. Who's enjoying this? I I popped into the Spider-Man Reddit recently just to kind of see am I wrong and like is there and it seems like everyone hates it. Okay, good. So you're not you're not wrong then. I'm not alone. You were right. I'm not alone. You were leading the charge. You I were ahead of the right. game for me. Thank you very much for telling yeah. me that. Yeah. What have you What have you been reading? What What got What's going on with you? Um, I actually haven't been reading too much. I yeah. did catch up on Walking Dead. I was two Ooh, issues behind. Ooh, I'm caught up now too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta say that series is impressing me right now. Yeah, right. Because it you know it ebbs and flows, and sure. it's, it's hard to read Walking Dead. It was so much fun to binge it, and it was just like man, it, I couldn't stop. Right. But then once it turned monthly, there's. The ebbs and flows come where there are times where I'm just counting down to the next issue, mm. and there are times where I forget about it for a couple months because it's just a little too slow, and I feel like no one issue uh, progresses the story far enough. They just did the whole Whisper War yeah, arc, yeah, 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 yeah. and I liked that they went the 16-panel route mm -hmm. with that yeah, to get yeah, yeah. Like, the Dark Knight Rises or Dark Knight Returns um, style for that to get a lot more words in and a lot more story progressing. The art became a little hard to follow, always is with Walking Dead, but... Um, I really enjoyed the pacing of that. And I was like, how are they, they going to keep it up? And I feel like they've done a really good job about, after a huge event, taking it back down and making it about the characters. And for the first time in a while, I'm really invested in the dynamics between the core cast of characters. 100%. 100%. And they're, they're not focusing on all the ones I don't care about. However, they're still growing them so that I will care one day. Like, all the people that they want me to know about are doing important things. Yep. But they're focusing on people that we, we know, and it feels like it used to back in the early days when it's like, all right, here's the core group of survivors trying to go around. Yeah, 100%. That was the thing. I think with all the different, as long as Walking Dead's gone on, right, it's gotten more and more into the weeds of here's this character you might not care about and what they're doing and blah, blah, blah. And it's that thing of I'm having trouble, where are we going with this, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, the last couple, I, mean, I don't, don't want to spoil things. but A big thing happened that... There's, was the I first think, big I think, thing in a while. I think it's okay to say there's a major death. Yeah. Okay. And it, yeah, that was the thing where I thought it really was like, oh, right, here's why I love this book. Let's see how it all, let's see how that affects the core people in that family. Let's see how uh, what's happening with Negan affects everyone else in the world. Let's yeah, see how this you. is going to go, you know, the uh, spread out into that. They're finally paying off on the Eugene storyline that they've been building oh for a while. Oh, my God. And that's that was such a fucking, like, it was so exciting in the beginning. Yeah. And I feel like it's been two years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, it's just, I forgot that I cared. And that's the thing I think Kirkman in Walking Dead is really good at doing, is laying things for so long that it becomes mundane. Of like, oh, yeah, 
and I don't think this is a spoiler, either. Eugene's on this radio talking to another colony out there somewhere. And you're like, that was really cool and exciting when that first happened. And then, yeah, you just take it for granted that that's happening, that's happening, that's happening. And so much happened when, like, the compound got attacked or whatever that I forgot somebody had even seen that or heard yeah. it or talked to it. So for that to be like, oh, yeah, and then a, immediately have payoff on it, immediately have action on it. That's yep. the biggest thing where I feel like they did so many panels, right, throughout the war because so much was happening. Mm -hmm. And now we're to the point of, like, all right, cool, now we're going to tell these interesting story where it's again where it's one of those I can tell you what's happening now what motivations are for people yeah whereas before it was like oh shit there's a war going on so everybody's yeah, worried yeah, about yeah. that and they're attacking that again it's hard to talk about the stuff without spoiling but I mean yeah. I feel like it's not spoiling too much if you don't know what's going on yeah because like you don't even know what you're talking exactly, about exactly good point I like that there's at least a group on the road again like right, yeah, out yeah, there yeah. with who the fuck knows what they're gonna face or what might happen and that that's exciting to me because it's been so just kind of centralized in the communities that we have around Washington for so long. So, very exciting. Cool. Uh, while I was gone, I read a bunch of stuff. Uh, here's something I want to do. I had written off Batgirl, Rebirth, just Batgirl in general. You know what I mean? After Babs and the team left and they redid it and they brought in a new creative team, I forget why. I think I started the first issue and then just fell off it or something mm. like that. I sat down and read them all. That there's, it's still really good. Really, it's still really compelling. Mm. Like, hey, I'm Barbara Gordon. Like, especially right after, right, because she leaves Burnside. That was kind of like the ending there, which was awkward before Rebirth, right? You remember yeah, this one? Yeah, was yeah. like ba Babs's fi and team's final issue happened, and then there was like two more, and then it was Rebirth. It was this yeah. weird thing. Yeah, always but do it, that. It starts with her off on you know doing her thing, and it, she gets into interesting scenarios and runs in with interesting people, and it still is the very much like. Babs, uh, not like she's trying to be Batgirl, Batgirl. You know what I mean? Like she, she's Batgirl Burnside, not Batgirl like Bruce Wayne. Yeah. And so it's actually been a fun ride. I, and I read through that. I'm still. I think I'm caught up now. Or I'm actually. I left off. I'm almost caught up. I left off with Son of the Penguin, which is already a, a little storyline that got wrapped up. But I'm just starting that up. And it's like, all right, cool. This is actually. This is good. And I. I think I was so connected to. Backer of Burnside original team that I was like so disappointed with them leaving that I was like, eh. but like I'm having a good time with this. So mm, I, mm. I wrote that wrote that off too soon. Um, and then this week on my pull list, uh, what am I grabbing? Well, first off, you have it pulled up. I want to know about Spider Man too. Cool. So this is the one. Uh, th I, I feel like on the show we've been doing the pull list thing a little bit differently. For sure. me, I'm just going to talk about like the one the thing one comic that you're I'm, excited that I'm, for? that I'm excited sure. for, and you can do whatever you want. But yeah, uh, goddamn right, me, I can. The the one the one I'm excited for, and I've been waiting for this for a while, is Spider Man Two. Spider Man came out I think five years ago. Uh, the first series, it okay. was uh, five or six issues, and it was just running. It was the first time that the six one six universe Peter Parker. Met Miles, Miles Morales yeah. and th what that meant because Miles Morales was at that point in the Ultimate Universe and his Peter had died, yep. which is you know such a huge thing in his origin story. So for him to now meet Peter, it's like a weird like oh shit. And there was also a lot of other things where like Aunt May from the Ultimate Universe met Peter, which just oh, to wow. imagine what that does. And then there's the Gwen Stacy from the Ultimate Universe who has never died. And she meets Peter and Peter's from the Six One Six Universe. Like what the fuck? There's a lot of was cool Spider Man great. Spot, uh, was it good? I enjoyed it a lot. Okay. But uh, like a lot of crossover type right. things, it, it gets, you know, there's some things where it, it feels very fan servicey. Okay. But I, that's what you kind of want from something called Spider Man, right? Yeah. Like, it's not great in terms of, um, like, it's not a classic, you know, but it's a lot of damn fun. And at the end, they hinted at there's. If there's Peters in both universes, there's probably Miles in both universes. Mm. So there's been a five-year thing without any actual payoffs. So now, gotcha. here we go, and you can even see on this cover here, it's like in the middle, it's like, who is the other Miles? Gotcha. And so I'm excited for it. I'm uh, I'm concerned. I don't concerned. necessarily think that this is going to be groundbreaking, especially with, uh, I mean, the team working on it, that this is like the ultimate Spider-Man team, the, uh, the Miles Morales ultimate Spider-Man team, okay. so, uh, with Bendis and Pacelli on the art. So... I'm excited for it, but I, I, again, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't think it's going to be a, a groundbreaking series, but keep it short, and I hope that Miles is an interest, that other Miles is an interesting character, and they don't drop the ball with that. I've added the original to my Marvel Unlimited account. I'll check that out now, or soon. And then, yeah, this one I was going to pick up anyway. So if that's how you want to do it, what's like catching you off guard this week, what are you excited for? Well, real I'm quick, sorry, last thing I want to say, the, one of the reasons I'm not like super, super excited about it is that at this point, there's no novelty to Miles and Peter interacting. Right, because like, Spider-Verse and everything else yeah. now. Spider-Verse yeah. and, um, I mean, now Miles is just in his universe. In oh, right. Peter's yeah, universe. Yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. there is no ultimate universe anymore. So it's like, this just seems a little bit weird. But if they do something interesting, it could be cool. What's yours? No, I'll go with that. 
I, that's what I'm interested in reading about. Oh, like, I cool. like seeing their interactions. I like to know how that all goes together. And I, I just haven't, you know, as, as someone who's casually picked up Miles, a Miles book there when he intersects with, like, you know, Spider-Gwen, I know yeah. more about him from that or anything. Otherwise, it's like, my stuff's all the normal superhero books you'd expect me to be picking up. I caught up on Injustice. Injustice is awesome. I'm going to keep going with that. Uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws, I've heard a lot of good things about, and they have this... Uh, the life of Bizarro, like the death of Superman because um, it's the reverse or whatever, and they put the the S up backwards bleeding. I, got, I grabbed that. I'm like, all right, let's see what that's about. Maybe That's cool. Because I've heard from multiple people that Red Hood and the Outlaws is actually great, just nobody gives a shit about it because it's Red Hood and the Outlaws. So, last time we did this, we do a thing called Required Reading where we pick a book for you to read with us, a graphic novel. We all read it together, and then we talk about it here. This last time we did Paper Girls. Because it was an extended one, we did volume one and two, and then extra credit if you read all of it. So, Kevin, did you read? I thought we were just doing volume one. Mm-hmm. Extra credit was volume two, so I read volume one. That's fine. You you failed the quiz. I, no, I think it was just volume one because you were no, saying. No, I'm it's $3. guaranteeing you it's not. I know right, exactly I'll what I said on this one. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, I read through two. I did not read through. Th- you did not do the extra credit, but that's I fine. I did not do extra credit. What do you think of it? So I had read Paper Girls volume one a year ago, I uh-huh. think. So I'm pretty new on it. It's not like I was like on it when it first came out, sure, but. Um, then I had been like, kind of waiting to, for volume two to finish, to, to get in on it so for all five issues. And I kind of have the same feeling now that I did then, which is I want to like this series more than I actually do. Mm. Um, Brian K. Vaughn, one of my favorite writers ever. Um, he, Saga, obviously, and Private Eye, and some of my favorite runs of Ultimate X-Men. Like He does a lot of fantastic work. And... I like when I feel like there's a point to what the story is doing and like where he's building. Whereas I feel like with this, they're kind of figuring it out as they go. There's certain things I'm like, all right, cool, great. We uh, there's obviously uh, going to be a payoff to it. Yeah. But I worry that they don't know whether or not they want this to have an end or if they want this to be an ongoing thing that goes forever. And sure, that, that sure. bothers me. Yeah, I can see that. Um, because I feel like it doesn't ever feel that we're trying to find answers. It just seems like there's just more questions being asked at all times, and I feel like 10 issues in, some of those things should start to be answered already, and instead there's just a lot more questions. Sure. And that might mean that in volume four there's going to be a crazy payoff where everything comes together, but when comics are released so far apart and when series like this we know are not monthly, it's going to be monthly for five issues and then a year in between. I don't know. Like I'm, I wasn't motivated to do the extra credit. Gotcha. First off, everyone in the chat says I was wrong. Kevin's right. Kevin, I apologize. Good job. Anyway, I guess I said volume one was the homework. Yeah. Catching up period was extra credit. Okay. Okay. So I apologize. But without being too negative, really cool idea. And I loved, especially in the first couple issues yeah. of the, the series where it's like, there was a lot of questions that were like, oh man, this is keeping me reading. Yeah. I like the idea of this cast. I like the 80s, obviously. Sure. Very cool setting and everything about it is awesome. And I was like, oh, I want to like these characters. They mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. don't really seem that fleshed out. And I feel like Volume 2 did a better job of giving them some personalities. I totally ship the the two girls, Tiff and Mac. Okay. Got to make that happen. Sure. Okay. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. What are your thoughts? You make you raise good questions, good points with it. I love Paper Girls. And I think for me it is the fact that I, I do love the characters. Like, I love Aaron. I love Mac. I love, you know, mainly them. Tiff I, is still coming into her own. You know yeah. what I mean? That kind of thing. But, like, when Aaron meets older Aaron, like, and that's the thing for me with Paper Girls, where it's, like, what I love about the series is the fact that I don't know where it's going and what they're going to do next. And, like, it was so awesome to jump into the future and immediately meet Aaron. Yeah. And have young Aaron, old yeah, Aaron. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, And that, like, I think that's what, it's, like, moments like that probably that crystallize why I love it so much, of, like, them going in the house and be like, is this rectangle a TV? Did we win the lottery? Like, you know what I mean? Like, they can't wrap their kid head around, like, all the stupid tech we take for granted and all that different stuff. And so, like... I loved all that, but you actually raise good points, and it's the same thing when I was uh, catching up, rereading stuff from the back. It, it is the thing of like, oh, right, like, I, right now, spoilers for where we're at with current Paper Girls, if you did the extra credit, right? Of like being in the past or maybe the far flung, you know, you know who knows of the timeline, right? But being around these cave people or whatever, it's like, I'm not super feeling this. I like the fact that there's this other first time traveler that they're crossing paths with and stuff. But going back and reading, it's like, oh, yeah, like grandfather, like, I still don't know, if you were to ask me, like, it, all right, I don't care about Paper Girls, explain to me what is going on. It'd be like, well, that's it's a great, hard shit. there's yeah. some people going back in time for tech, I think, and they keep doing this, but they like this, but grandfather, and he said his mom, 
His mom was born in 2016. It might be the time tra- I can't, I don't Yeah, no, yeah. It, it gets really complicated. And I, it does something that I really don't like with storytelling where, so all the, like, the Apple logo being everywhere. Yeah. I like that. That's super cool. And I'm like, what is going on with that? Yeah. But then when there's all the symbolism of like in the beginning of the whole uh, story when she's having the dream. The, no, it's, the it's apple very, of knowledge. And yeah, stuff like and that. all that stuff. It's like, cool, great. So obviously there's something there. And then I, there's a lot that keeps tying into each other no matter what timeline they're in. Yeah. My problem is I feel like the whole thing is referencing some biblical stuff that I don't know. Mm-hmm. So I always feel lost. Gotcha. And I feel like... There's some times where I don't know if I'm supposed to feel lost or if I feel lost because I don't have this prior knowledge going into it of gotcha. something. Yeah, yeah. And it does seem like they're building towards having Apple represent some... Evil mega corporation. E- well, but even more than that, I think it's some, like, God. biblical shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, some, like, there's some shit well, I think, that's going to I think it's that grandfather and all those people from the far-flung future worship technology like God. You know what mm. I mean? Like, like, we worship God now or whatever. Yeah. People. But I'm with you. Like it's uh, you. Uh, my m- the main point I agree with you on is the fact that yeah, I wish there was they were closing loops faster to keep me hooked longer. And it do- it is one of those of like, I would be way more confident in my love of the series if it was yeah, we're doing 24 issues. Yep. Period. Here you know how long Absolutely. this is going for. You know what we're gonna go run out onto. Whereas this, it does just keep keep tumbling and keep tumbling and keep tumbling. I love the ride. I'm always stoked to get a new issue. You know what I mean? But e- even then, it's still like. It it has that problem that so many comics have, and I think Walking Dead's one of them, uh, and I think and I think Saga to an extent, but Paper Girls I think has so much cool shit and nods, and I forgot all about that original dream sequence until I reread the books. You know what yeah. I mean? I was like, oh right, yeah, I forgot all about that. There was this knowledge shit. It's one of those that I love comics. I do hate continuities. I do hate month by month. And it's like I if I was just reading these as trades, or if you waited until there was the omnibus of here's the entire run of yeah. Paper Girls, I think you'd enjoy it more than you enjoy it now. Because for me, yeah. it, me in particular, because when I get the new issue and read it, it took me forever to memorize the girls' names, right? Mm. Because it was like I know KJ's there, and Mac Mac from the Max introduction is so strong. Max like, the leader, like exactly, yeah. And it was easy to remember her. But like KJ with the field hockey stick, it took me forever to be like, wait, who's that again? And then you'd pick it up and like, we got to save her. I'm like, what is she, where is she again? Where like, is what's she, happening? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was something I'm happy that did pay off. Where it's like, we, when we, we find out at least some things about that. Because yeah, it's yeah. like, there's, that was another question raised where it's like, where is she? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, but I, I do like it though. And again, I want to like it more, more. than I yeah, actually yeah. do. But I think that just is a testament to the fact that it is different. And if it was the same thing as all the other things I like by him, then what's the point of reading all of it? He also did the... Um, the Alien, the uh, Walking Dead. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, God, that thing, was so good. Which was so good. Yeah, yeah. And it's like the, he, he's so talented. He's the type of writer uh, or artist that I would just follow based on his name alone. You know, when he, sure. when I when his name's attached to something, I want to give it a shot. Um, so I, I definitely recommend if you like Paper Girls at all, obviously pick up Saga. I'm sure you probably already have. Sure. But Saga to me is. It just keeps getting better. Sure. There, there's Saga's some, the same thing. Real, that like, not real low lows. There's dips. Yeah, yeah. But every time I stick through it, I'm like, fuck, man. This Sa- is good. Saga's the same time, though, where I pop in, though, and it's just like, wait, what is your, where do we leave off, and what's yeah. going on? And I have to go back and reread a few issues, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's just like, I can't have it both ways, I guess, where I'm like, yeah. I, don't, I don't like that some of the, many of the superhero comics in DC Rider are so disposable, but then I can't have like a narrative I really enjoy and be mad that I have to, I'm having trouble yeah. remembering it and stuff. You have to wait so long for Saga, though. Yeah. Well, they're, yeah. No, not recently. Right now, they've been back. They've been really they, good. Yeah, they took a break and then came back. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They've been, Historically. They, uh, they've been taking breaks in between volumes. Yeah. But issue by issue, as far as I know, they've nailed the monthly for a long time. Uh, Kev, what do you think? Um, so I only read volume one. And I feel like at the end of volume one, it hooked me. But reading it, I just, I really felt like, where is this going? Like, they're playing with time traveling. Well, not time traveling. Well, no, I guess it was time traveling. Uh, but it's just like, I, I, what's happening? There's too many things randomly happening that I was like, wait, where are these pterodactyls come from? Like, what? Whenever you find yourself asking, where, these where did these come pterodactyls come from? Also, the, um, after the girl gets shot, they get in that ship, they teleport out or to the future, I guess, and then back, and it kills them. And it was like, what is, like, I don't know, I, I just, it was too much hecticness. I, like, I really feel like I should have read Volume 2. And at the end of Volume 1, I was like, oh, man, 
I don't really like this. But then that last uh, panel, I was like, oh, yeah. is that, that where she looks meets cool. Future Aaron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where they meet, and it's like, oh, something cool is happening here. Yeah. But um, I like it. Definitely feel like hearing you guys talk about it now that it's further out. For like for you guys, it's further out. Um, it scares me a little bit knowing that like we don't get that many answers. Cause like I I hate when, when it's just like oh here's a crazy world where crazy things are happening. Yeah. We're not gonna tell you anything. You're just gonna be in the world. Another thing though, compliment to it, the art is beautiful. Oh, yeah. And I think that it's kind of worth reading just to look at it and just to see. Because I feel like it's one of those books that, even without uh, word bubbles, it's just fun to look at. Sure. Yeah, and it's like, beautiful. You have no it's idea really what the hell's happening. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, the colors are great, and it, it has a very cool style. So, Tim, mm -hmm. what's the next required reading? Ooh, I don't know. Um, a lot of kids, what do you got? Deadly Class. You want to do Deadly Class? Yeah. Which one? Volume one? Yeah. Um, let me try to figure out where that ends. All right. Kevin's looking into Deadly Class. He has been asking for this one for a long time. That and Black Science, right? That was not the other one you always oh, wanted. Oh, Black Science is awesome too. Yeah. Hmm. But you want to, you want to, you, Kevin, your pick is going to be Deadly Class, you think? Well, hold on. Do you remember anything about Deadly Class and where it ends, Volume 1? No. Read it a long time ago, liked it a lot. No. He's looking into it. <laughs> good taste, Kevin. I want to think about some, some good Spider Man storylines. Okay, to, good. Assign you at some point. Sure, I would like that quite a bit. We're gonna do Deadly Class Volume One. Can you read further though? Yeah, if you want to go extra credit, you can read further. Okay. I I, I don't want to make it like this yeah. to be an, a very no, expensive I, I proposition for people. No, I, I understand. Me, that. well, I read more. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. my hope is that this jump starts me back into the world. I reread yeah. Deadly Class Volume One, which I did like a lot, and then get going. Because the last time we spoke, you were around a place where it, like. I just wanted you to read further. Yeah, I got midway stuff. through volume yeah. two. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll read more for you. Dead right. the Class, everybody, volume one, required reading. We'll be back next Wednesday to talk about that one. So, so get ready for that. Uh, we need to get into the chat, did the patent in three and three, start queuing up questions, comments, and concerns. They can be about comics. They can be about anything you want, Paper Girls. While you do that, I'm going to jump in, read uh, the tips we have so far. Oh, yeah. Cancer Cookie gave a tip, said, Tim, I Platinum Crash Bandicoot one last night. Now I feel like Damn. I can do anything. She also, can. are you guys interested in the idea of doing a month, or a once a month where we do a classic comic like Watchmen or Dark Knight Rises Cerebral? Ooh, we should do that. I, I say we play it by ear. Not a once a month, but absolutely. Yeah, I, I think like, that's going to pop up as a yeah, part of Yeah, for sure. Because right? yeah. there's certain things, there's a Batman uh, graphic novel that I never read, Arkham. Just Arkham Asylum. Oh, Arkham? Yeah, yeah. Oh, or is it called okay. Arkham? Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't remember what it's called. Well, the one with yeah. the beautiful art. The, like, the painting-looking uh, art. Oh, that's Arkham Asylum. But is that a... a Never read it. A, like a, that's short, right? Well, yeah. It's a graphic Doesn't novel. Matter. Like, six issues. So, yes, we'll do classic stuff. Don't worry about it. Thomas, turn 28 today. Here's my birthday text. Greg, thanks for playing Mario Kart at Pluckers with me last week. Shit was a lot of fun. You're goddamn right it was. And I'd like to once again publicly state, Zyger is far too good at Mario Kart. I beat him that day, but only because he gave up one of his other controllers and turned it sideways for somebody. And he played like that, and he beat me in the first race playing with the sideways. And I'm like, God damn, dude. And he hung in there and was number two behind me. And these what? humans, like, fuck Zyger. Um, MegaZ19, check this out, Greg. Fits really well with today. Kevin, can you pull up that Twitter? Tell me if it's worth looking at. We'll get back to you. Uh, Mini Sunuksta. Gave a tip, but it's under the $5 level to get on. We love you. Uh, Killer Dragon says, poem for Candy Andy. Candy Andy from the South. Candy Andy in my mouth. Candy Andy in my head. Candy Andy in my bed. Candy Andy is good luck. Candy Andy, I would duck, duck, duck. Yeah, duck. That's good. good job. I would duck from him big time. Uh, and then the final tip for right now comes from NPC, NPC Mates. Hey, Tim, just Platinum Crash 1. Another one? No, uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, Tim, Dude. I Platinum Crash oh, 1 man. from the Insane Trilogy so halfway behind. through 2. Just wondering where you at, mate. Also, is Greg going to get on that plat wagon, or is Crash too hard for her? I mean him. <laughs> oh, man, no. I have um, locker room insults. Okay. Let's see. I I haven't progressed more than I've I've said on the last show. So I beat 1, 2, and 3, but I haven't platinumed any of them. I'm, I'm working through it. The problem is I keep jumping from game to game, and I'm also just like, Busy doing other shit, so I can't sure. dedicate the time. Sure. But God, I want to, man. I just keep, every time I load up my damn PS4 to give Gia her HBO, I just see Crash and just like, Damn, you win that HBO, Gia. Oh, I want you. 
All right, jump in the chat for the Pat and Moriarty 3 and 3, then we'll get out of here. Or, well, Tim will read subs, then I'll prep, and we'll do games daily with Danny O'Dwyer. Um, Yasman300 says, Tim, thought, of, thought on Aladdin casting problems, and do you think it's a cover, Disney, trying to let go of Guy Ritchie? Uh, I don't think it's a cover. I don't think they care about covers, as evidenced by the whole Han Solo movie situation. They just, mm -hmm. They'll do whatever the fuck they please. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's it's interesting. That whole movie, I can't believe that movie's real. I know that it, it sounds like it is because yeah. there's like so much going on with it, but like that is one that I'm like, I'll believe it when I see a trailer. Sure. Uh, J.P. Collins said, or J.P.S. Collins maybe. Greg, have you ever read the Joker standalone graphic novel? Yes, I have. That's a Brian Azello or whatever, however you pronounce his last name. It was really good. I like that one a lot. Uh, Imperiax316, Greg, have you read Superman's Secret Identity? I have. Big fan. Big fan. Another one of them, Jeff Johns one. Mm. I love Jeff Johns. Uh, Lucid Dream said, Tim, did you see the first four figure of Crash that Alana posted? Dude, honestly, I'm not a fan at all. Their Sonic figure is one of the coolest statues I've ever seen. But man, the Crash one, I just don't like the, that, the pose he's in. Like that was like the shitty box art, like tent box art they did for... Crash Remastered, and I'm like, why would you go with that? There's so many other things you could do. Mm. Don't like it. But the Sonic one, look at that shit. So cool. We've jumped into subscriber-only mode. This is one of the benefits of being a sub here on Twitch, so thank you for your support. Uh, Avel Sinnerd said, when I read Paper Girls, I was listening to the official, or the, the OST, official soundtrack, for some reason of Lost, and immediately felt, fuck, this comic is nearly exactly like those time travel episodes of Lost. Turns out that Brian K. Vaughn was actually a head writer on seasons two and three for Lost, and oh. who should, and this is a different one, who should direct a Paper Girls show or movie? I would think, and I know it's old, but Spielberg would be great because it, it gives me that 80s vibe. Yeah. And that's what I want. I, you know, it gives you the Stranger Thing, Stranger Thing vibe, you know? The guys that did Stranger Things are probably the best. They'd be really good at it too, yeah. Um, Brad Eric Murphy says, Tim, pick your favorite, Articuno, Zapdos, or Moltres? No, it's all made up stuff. Easy. That's all just made up shit. Zapdos. Easy. I mean, look at him. Zapdos is the only cool looking one. I like Articuno because he's blue, but honestly, he's Aptos, dude. I think Moltres is kind of cool. No, nah, Moltres is him. by far the third. He's the Bulbasaur of the legendaries. CCX Speedster says, Greg, have you started reading Jokes and Riddles arc for Batman and the blockbuster story arc for Nightwing? If so, thoughts? I haven't. I haven't downloaded. I'm ready to go on them, but I haven't started into them. The War of Jokes and Riddles seems like it'll be cool, but we'll go. Well, who knows? And then one more here. Hack two one one two. Any advice on where to start and in getting into comics? Where to start? Uh, I mean, it really depends on if you're if you're looking for superheroes or just cool stories. Because if you're just looking for cool stories, um, what's a, what's like a just a story? Just a short story that short at least a vol story. or like a volume one that is like a good thing, like an image. Bro, lock and key, man. Lock and Key, we didn't, I know. You like Lock and Key. I, mean, lock, yeah, I'm I don't not think that that's a great jumping in. I loved it. If you're just, I mean, like, I, my thing is always going to be, eh, I see what you're saying, but you want to stay away from superheroes. I mean, if you want superheroes. Superheroes, I would always say, who's your favorite superhero? And then just Google best graphic novels about Spider-Man, Superman, Batman. You know what I mean? I mean, I think if you're just getting into comics, period, I think it's safe to go either Spider-Man or Batman. And if you're going to do that, if you go Spider-Man, the safest bet is Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 1. Mm. Mm. It is just the origin story. It is just something you're familiar with. But it's a good example of what comics are. Of what Marvel comics are. Okay. I would say Spider-Man Blue, but I know Tim doesn't agree. Yeah. It's just I need a fun, to It's a it. sweet story. I know. There's, many, and, and, and there's you don't panels need to that I the, like. There are pages that I like. You don't need to like. see the goddamn origin. That, that's mm. what keeps killing me when I try to read Ultimate Spider-Man. Well, I'm fine with the, Yeah, but it goes so fast in, yeah, in yeah. Ultimate. So fast. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ladies right. and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for the Kind of Funny Morning Show. We will begin with Kind of Funny Games Daily very shortly with Greg Miller and Danny O'Dwyer. It's very exciting. I'm going to read all the subs and resubs and, and all that stuff. Yep. I'm going to go change. I'm going to go get ready. Dun, dun, dun. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Love dun, 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 dun. you. Bye. Oh, like, subscribe and share and subscribe and do subscribe. all that. We're a podcast and we need your money and we love you very much, but we're a business.